<clears throat> Hi, this is TH calling for Solar City. Zabilla behind the camera. We've been working all afternoon with a two kilowatt generator and um, a 2,500 gen uh, uh, watt generator. And we have a little bit of gas left. We want to show what we've discovered. Um, one thing, biogas is very wet, and so it is hard to start. And many people like us will break the, uh, the pull cord on these things trying over and over to start it. So we try to use a drill. We're going to see if we can use a battery powered drill. This one may not be powerful enough, so we may have to use the electric drill. It's also, you're using a 21 millimeter socket, and that 21 millimeter socket, this is not exactly the right uh, exact dimension for that lug in there, so we're stripping the lug. A lot of problems here, uh, which you'll get over when you do it right, um, but this is experimental. So 21 millimeter lug, but uh, should conform to the uh, to, to the actual uh, bolt in there. And then we've used the, uh, the 220 volt, 25 Pascal, 40 liter per minute gas pump. We tried it on 110 volts and it was easier to get started, but then the thing went off. Um, you get more pressure obviously with the 220 volts and then, uh, then, but then you have to really regulate and ride this, di this dial here because it runs too rich at the beginning and then too lean afterwards. So the best compromise we found is to use the 220 volt with these 20 watt, 40 liter per minute, 25 Pascal, but start with it valved almost shut. We're running through a Pusheen sulfur filter to protect the metal parts from the sulfur that is in the biogas, and that may help dry it a little bit. And then it's going directly into the bushing from the tri-fuel adapter we're not using the regulator at all. The regulator makes it harder to use with this biogas gas pump thing. So we're not using that. Uh, that comes in the kit for $189 from US Carburation, uh, but you don't need that part. It actually becomes more difficult to get it regulated. So going directly into the bushing, um, and let's see if we can get it started with this drill. And I'll turn around like this and try to get ride the valve a little bit, so. Turn on the pump. You can see now that it's on. So, if you turn off the pump, obviously it doesn't just draw by itself. So once again, you have to use a source. Now, Pusheen sells solar powered pumps uh, so you can use your solar powered pump with this uh, otherwise you're going to need a battery bank and an inverter to, to run this if you're out in the field to get it started but it's good that you can start it this is a 14.4 volt 1.5 amp hour hand drill and it's nice to know that with this 21 millimeter uh, uh, whatever you call this thing um, th that it, it does actually spin and get started so once again I, I put it here I turn on the pump going through the sulfur. I'm not using the 120, the 110 volt transformer. And I open this valve just a little bit. And when it's lean, it starts. And then I open it up all the way. Now what I'm going to try to do is run the incinerator and see if it'll work. So, Plug in the incinerator, which we'll be using in Slugiland, and it stalls. Okay, so the load is loads a little hard for that. Let's try it again. Oops. <clears throat> but it may be that um, at this rate of delivery, there's some tweaks for people if you're going to run a big, heavy load like that. Let's close the valve down. Will I find that sweet spot? Hmm. Now we're really having trouble getting the start. Oh, that's because... Maybe, I don't know why. Try it again. Close it down. I'm doing okay. We can see, can 
time we run a drill off of this, which uses less energy, Let's now go to the inverter, I'm sorry, the transformer, the 110 volt transformer. You hear it's a lot quieter, and we're opening up the valve, and now I'm going to just start this again. that's a lot harder so back to 220 just to make sure everything's okay with it and then we can be out of here ah, wait a minute. I know what went wrong I have to go back to 110 I actually had turned off the motor so let's see if I use 110 we should get a good result now So now we're running on 110, but you hear it sounds a little bit thin. If I put in the drill now, it's going to it out. Right, so that doesn't, that doesn't really work running it on, on 110 very well. It goes out. And so last thing again, proof of the puzzle going into 220 and then... Uh, let's re replicate this one more time. Oh. 